nobody wins when the family feels. But my you don't know anything about it, huh? No, sir, I don't. And you stayed over at Heather. Heather's house mm -hmm. from when she started cooking until the cops came. Um, she was already cooking when I got there. Okay. She was frying. And it was already. about what time? About when the sun started going. Through. Okay. About. And you didn't go anywhere. You just stayed over there. I didn't go nowhere until Brittany showed me her hand, but we were on the porch. I didn't never go nowhere. You were at the porch at Heather's house? Yes. Okay. I didn't go nowhere. Okay. Because that ain't what I'm told. Hey, what's your full name? Heather. H-E-A-T? H-E-R. Middle name? Trene. T-R-I-N-E-E. -E. Last name? Lee. Okay. What is going on? Okay. Well, first of all, we're investigating the, a, a, a battery here with your, with your neighbor there behind you. Audriana? I guess. The lady lives behind you. Captain. Listen to me now. Okay. I'm going to ask you some questions. Uh, okay. Okay. I just see Audriana earlier today. All right. I'm, uh, my name is Investigator Watts. I'm with the Sheriff's Office, okay. and we were called out here on an ag aggravated some type of disturbance tonight, okay, okay. where your uh, neighbor was uh, critically injured, and you have been implicated, maybe having some knowledge or information, or, or even being involved. Do hey, you want to talk to us without an attorney present, a lawyer? I don't know what I All you got to do is say yes or no. <laughs> Most of us can agree, the strength of a woman is unmatched, and just like anything else in life, today we're going to see the good and the bad that come from that. Let me explain how. On one end, we had a woman that's so strong, after being burned alive, she managed to stay alive long enough to solve her own murder. And on the other hand, you have a woman who was informed that a neighbor slash friend was sleeping with her husband. Burned her? Huh? Yes. See, I ain't know nothing about being burned. So tell me, what I went on tonight? I didn't see her tonight. I see her early and I did at my house. She tell you tonight that your husband's been sleeping with your friend? She didn't tell me none of this. What? <laughs> what? And I don't believe that anyway because I be up under my husband 24-7. <laughs> Baby, both. Everywhere he go, I'm with him. Okay. Both Darren and Tina told us they slept together tonight, so you can probably take that right out of your head. That, that, that there is a confirmed fact. I can give you that bit of information. And my understanding is Adriana told you that tonight. Adriana. She didn't tell you that? Adrian. It's crazy, but you heard that right, family. We're going to later hear from all three suspects. And it's clear that the messenger was assaulted not the person that was sleeping with her husband. As you just heard detectives say that that woman alongside her husband admitted they were sleeping together that night, which was clearly the motive. So before we go over this one, remember, I don't give you no angle. I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're gonna jump right to it. Tana Brown and her teenage daughter and a neighbor were convicted in the March 2010 demise of 19-year-old Audrina Zimmerman. Above on the screen will be the actual photos of the crime scene and the actual photos of the weapons. But Zimmerman was beaten with the crowbar, shot with a stun gun, then dosed with gas and set on fire. This happened in Florida. The attack stemmed from a dispute over a man. Brown's 16-year-old daughter, Brittany Miller, had received life, and the 27-year-old neighbor, Heather Lee, who testified against Brown, got 25 years. The year 2024, now 53 years old, Brown files motions claiming Lee made statements to inmates at the jail that could offer new evidence that Brown wasn't the ringleader in the crime. So now we have the introduction out the way. Fam, let's take a moment and listen to each interrogation from Tina, her daughter, and Heather. First up, Tina. Can I call you Tina? Mm -hmm. Okay. Obviously know something's up. Yeah. So tell me what happened tonight. Nothing happened that I know of. Heather just said that something about Adriana got beat up real bad. Okay. You don't know anything about that? No. See your arms and hands if I could. Okay. Can I see the top, top signs? Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Those old scars on there? Yeah, I have a puppy. Okay. And what's this right here? That little scratch there. This? Yeah. I have a puppy. Okay. And your puppy caused that? Look. I'm going to move here. Got your chin? Okay. Nothing new. All right. So where were you tonight? At Heather's. At Heather's house? Well, I was at home. My, my daughter's break my hair, so I was at home, but... Um, it started hurting, and her little friend started coming by. So um, Heather said she was going to cook, so I went down there. She was cooking uh, fish and french fries, and then we just started watching movies. Okay. And um, did you go anywhere from there? Mm-mm. You were there all night until the cops came up there? Mm-hmm. What time did you go over there? Um, probably just started getting dark. Okay, so about about sunset... You go over the Heather's. Mm-hmm. Was anybody over at Heather's house when you went over there? Just Heather and her husband. Heather, okay. And I forget his first name. What's his first name? Darren. Darren? Mm-hmm. Did anybody else come over there? Mm. Brittany says she came by. I said she hurt her hand. Her and her little friend girls were at the house. She said she hurt her hand, so every time she says she want to go to the emergency room, usually we get there and everything is all right, so I don't end up going with her, but she said she was going to the emergency room. Her and um, one of her little friend girls called Mallory, and I think her other little friend girl named Jessica from next door. What time was that when they came by, you know? No? no. Was it, had you been over there long? I mean, you said you went over to Heather's and Darren's at sunset. Was it long after you got there? No. Okay. So, early in the evening? Um, I'll say maybe, what, maybe 30, 40 minutes after I got there. I so, what, 7, 7.30? I don't know what time it was. Oh, okay. Um, so, about 30 to 45 minutes after sunset. Yeah. Okay. No, after I got over to her house. Okay, but you said you got over there right about sunset. Right. Okay, okay so sunset. 30 to 40 okay. minutes, okay. Make sure we're on the same page. I don't want to put words in your mouth. Okay. And <clears throat> what has been going on between you and Adriana this week? Oh, a whole bunch of stuff. Actually, um, mm-hmm. Adriana, we, me and Adriana were together today. Okay, where were y'all at together? At my house. Okay. What was going on there? We were just sitting there watching movies, trying to get my computer. Um, the man next door has a computer, put a virus on my computer. So my daughter is the only one who knows how to pull it up where I can get iTunes and watch movies. So Adriana was over there, and she was actually Adriana and another um, white, guy, white guy named James. They were trying to pull the iTunes up on my computer. Okay. And she had went and got some three naked movies from my house to ask him, did he want to buy them? Okay. Um, have y'all had any problems? Oh, yeah. We've had problems. The first three trailers, we've had problems for a long time. What's Louisa. the problems? Um, well, lately, the new problem is she thinks that I'm the one who had her boyfriend locked up in jail. Okay, so she's mad at you thinking her boyfriend's locked up because of you. Yeah, but we talked about it earlier today. Okay. But y'all getting along today, no problems. Yeah. Any allegations going on between you and Darren? Darren. Mm-hmm. Go back. Brown. I mean, uh, Lee. Any allegations? Yeah. Is she saying anything about you and uh, Lee? Darren Lee? Daryl Lee? No. Okay. So, Darren Lee. So, she's not saying that you and Darren Lee are getting together? Not to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. And? She talks more to Heather than she does to me. Me and her actually just started back talking today. Okay. Because I asked her um, this morning. What was I doing this morning? I was trying to make some phone calls. And I wanted to heat up some chicken, so I asked her where she put the church's chicken in her microwave, and she heated it up for me and brought it to my house. Okay. Do you know what happened to Adriana tonight? No, I don't. Heather just said she got beat up, but that's all I know. A little bit more than that. 
We're not sure if she's going to make it or not. No, I don't. She talked to us, or she talked to the people that came over to help her. Mm-hmm. And she, she, she told them something. You know what she told them? I can just imagine what's that. Yeah. She said that you and Heather did this to her. So that's why we're talking to you two. But she said I called. She's been saying a lot of stuff lately. Okay. She said I called, um, because this is all stuff that we talked about today at my house. Okay. About um, somebody supposed to have, somebody supposed to have called Crime Stoppers on her about her kids. And I told her I didn't do it. You know, I would never do it, but she said people around the trailer park haven't told her that. And um, my tire was stabbed. Okay. And I asked her if she do it. She said no. I mean, I couldn't prove she did it, so we I didn't argue about it, fuss about it, or nothing. But you thought she did it. Mm-hmm. Just just because of what people said. But mm-hmm. did you hear about her window getting awful. busted out? Whose window? Adriana's window getting busted out a few days ago. You didn't hear about it? No, sir, I didn't. Did you know the police came out there last week to talk to her about the problems she had in her neighborhood? Yeah, they talked to me, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you were there. Mm -hmm. What was the problem? Um, Her and my, oh, another girl come out there to fight Adriana, because Adriana was supposed to have gotten smart with her on the phone. Okay. And Adriana's boyfriend was there, Andre Smith. Mm -hmm. And he sent Adriana in the house. No, he came outside the house, and he was saying that I was in the middle of that, which I didn't even know the white girl. And he said, oh, he cussed all the kids out and me that was outside. And he told Adriana to go in the house and get that thing or whatever. She came back outside on the porch. She was on the porch cussing. Then she came out in the walkway, and she tried to tase my daughter. Who tried to tase your daughter? Adriana. Adriana got a taser? Mm-hmm. What kind of taser? Um, I just think it's, it was a black one. A black one. She said that. Um, you seen it? Yeah, everybody well, out there it saw it. Me. I just know it was black. Okay. And it made a loud noise. Okay. Everybody out there saw it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Why would she say that you and uh, and Heather did this to her? Well, from what Heather telling me that Adriana is jealous. Adriana told me that. The stuff that's supposed to have been going, that she heard from Heather, that I was the one who called um, children, the DCFS people, mm-hmm. on her. Well, certainly that would. Certainly, I could see some animosity going on there, and of course, you think that she stabbed her tire. But the problem I see here is um, she may not live, and she is saying that you and Heather did this to her. So that's 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 probably uh, pretty important at this point. I've been talking to an officer. Every time there's an accusation being said about me mm-hmm. or anything being said in that trailer park, I talk to an officer, Morale, mm-hmm. over at the um, work release place. Okay. That's who I've been talking to about any kind of... Because first they were saying that they were coming to get me and my daughter. That I, Not not Adriana, but the boy she was going with was sending people after me and my daughter. Well, I don't think those security guards at, at um, work release are actually... Um, Law enforcement officers, aren't those just hired, hired no, security? because I was. Are you at the state, or are you talking about the county work release? Here. Yeah, the county one. Yeah, right. here. Okay, so those aren't law enforcement officers. Well, Adriana was saying that I was the one who sent him to jail, which I did do it. Okay. Okay, because he had threatened my daughter. Okay. Okay, but I had... Heather, I had Heather talk to Officer Morales, and he made it seem like that it wasn't me. That he refused to take a dirt, refused to take a drop. Okay. So, and he the one told me that I need to call Sheriff's Department. But if they were already saying that I'm a snitch, I didn't want to call the Sheriff's Department out there. So he said, well, then I can meet with them somewhere. Okay. The police officers was across, was next door, speaking to the kids about something that happened. And that's when I actually knocked on my window and had him come over and look at my tire. Then I I didn't even make a police report on my tire. Okay. And, and you said tonight you were over at Heather and Darren's, right? Yes, sir. And you didn't go anywhere? No. Did anybody come over there while you were there? Um, he had somebody come over, but 
I didn't go out. What, who were they that came over? Um, I think it was Graham with glasses and no, it wasn't Graham. The, the, he was dark skinned and he had braids, but I think they call him Graham. Okay. And then there's another guy, but I didn't know who that. Blocker guy was. sound familiar? Yeah. Okay. And did anybody else come over? Mm, yep. Yeah, um, white guy in a red truck. You know who that was? You no, know, he went out there and went outside and talked to him. Okay. And what was Darren doing while y'all over there cooking? Anything? Laying on the couch watching movies. Okay. And is that pretty much what y'all were doing all the way until the cops came? Mm-hmm. So y'all were sitting there cooking all night? No, we were through cooking. Okay. We were just watching movies. Okay, so you, Darren, and Tina were sitting in the living Heather. room. Heather. Heather were sitting there in the in the living room watching movies. Mm-hmm. And when the cops knocked on the door, what'd y'all do? We were sitting there. Okay. Why didn't you answer the door? It ain't my door. Okay. Did they do anything special when the cops knocked on the door? Turn out the lights, turn off the lights TV. were already off because we were being nosy looking out the window seeing what's going on next door. Okay, so you saw the cops next door first? Mm-hmm. Were the lights on before the cops came over next door? Yeah. And then y'all turned them off when they came over next yeah, door? Yeah, you can see better with the lights off. You don't see okay. nobody looking back at you. Okay. Mm-hmm. So y'all sat there and when the cops came, they didn't answer the door. Mm-hmm. How long were y'all in there before you did we answer thought the that, door? Um, actually, Darren has said that, um, I guess the, the tape was going out, and Darren has said that maybe, because Adriana has a little boy that's kind of hyper, mm-hmm. he said that that little boy probably got that taser and tased that little girl. Okay. All right, but you were home all night. You didn't see any kind of disturbance going on over there before the cops came over there or anything? No, we would have heard something. You said you saw Adriana earlier today? Mm-hmm. What time was that? Um, Adriana was coming and going, coming and going on a bicycle. Okay. You remember the last time you saw her? Mm. Was it while you were still over at, at uh, Heather and Darren's? I didn't come back out when I went to their house. We, we were cooking then. Okay. So it had to have been before sunset. Mm-hmm. So you saw her during the day. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, at once you went over to Heather and Darren's, y'all, you never left there? No. You didn't go to go get anything or go anywhere at all. Mm, I don't think so. Um, mm-mm. Okay. You seem kind of lackadaisical about this. I'm, I'm telling you that this woman is uh, probably going to die and has named you as the person that's harmed her. It kind of, you know doesn't sit easy with me that you're just so nonchalant about this. I just I just talked to talked to her today and I told her I never called DCFS on no kids. Okay. Well she's probably gonna die is the word we're getting. And we're concerned over that. And the last person she said that did this to her is you and Heather. Okay. We're gonna go out there. We know what happened out there. It's just gonna be a matter of getting fingerprints and evidence back, okay? Out where? It happened at her house? Uh, we didn't no. Hear... It didn't. It originated, started at her house. Right. And then it, it went it went somewhere else. What started at her house? This, uh, this, the, the reason we're here. Basically, what she told the firemen was that you two came the and firemen. grabbed her. Mm-hmm. Well, say what now? What she told the firemen was that you two came over and grabbed her, pulled her out of that house, beat her, and harmed her. And nobody out there, the kids, or nobody saw none of this. Nobody saw it. We talked to everybody in that neighborhood. The kids are always outside. We've talked to everybody in the neighborhood. You saw them all out there. You hear nothing? Nope. Hmm. And she's saying that y'all did it. She said I called DCFS on her. She said I put her husband, I mean her boyfriend, in jail. Well, apparently she was right about that. Only one that I put her husband in jail, but I didn't call DCFS on her. Because most of the time that we was together, we was getting hot together. Mm-hmm. Well, it, we got some issues, okay? Mm-hmm. And we're going to get to the bottom of it one way or another, okay? okay. Mm-hmm. So you know, we're sitting here talking to you, and then I, I'd certainly appreciate, and I know Tom appreciates that you're talking to us. But we got to get to the bottom of this, and we got to know what happened, the truth. And, you know, 
there's two pe- there's two choices here. Either you're going to tell us or Heather's going to tell us. So, who's going to be? I didn't do anything to her. Okay. Promise to God. And you were home all night. I was at Heather's house. Okay. You were at Heather's all night. Never left there. Because, see, the story between Heather and Darren is already shaky. And your story is a third version of what they've told us so far. Okay? Mm. Now, there's pieces and parts that are the same, which makes me think y'all probably had a a story together. Is it ready? Okay, I'll send somebody down there to get that uh, tape in just a minute, okay? Thank you, sir. Bye. Um, but they aren't exactly the same. Okay. okay? It concerns me. It sounds a little too good, and then the parts that are breaking up, I don't understand why they're not saying the same thing. Okay? Mm-hmm. And so we need to get to the bottom of this. This is a serious allegation. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is life changing. Okay? Mm-hmm. And somebody's life may end over this. Uh, we're getting we're getting told that she's in pretty critical condition at this point and not likely to make it. So that's why we're here. Do you understand what he's saying, not likely to make it? Yeah, she's about what? to die. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That changed gears. When she dies, it's going to change gears. Okay? I didn't do anything to her. Okay. But you two have had problems. But I'm not the only and one I've talked to had Darren. problems I, I know. There. But I talked to Darren. And I know, I know what was said today. Okay? I know the allegation that's been going on that she told Heather that you and Darren were sleeping together. I know about this. Okay? Okay. When was she supposed to have said that? Today. Heather never asked me about it. Okay. So, I mean, that's out there. But, I mean, and, everybody's you know, been telling her, telling Heather that, though. Yeah, but it's the truth, and that's another thing. She's been right on on who turned her in, and now she's right on you with him. She's what? She's right about you with him. But everybody's been telling Heather that, though. I know, but she's right. That's the problem. You are sleeping with Darren. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. So, yes. is Heather your best friend? No. Okay. Is Heather in... Andriana, best friends? Adriana? No. Okay. Y'all hanging out, having dinner together, and that discussion didn't get we up, brought that. up? We do that. We fight. Everybody in that trailer park argues and fights, and we get right back together today. Matter of fact, um, when we were in my house today, me and Adriana and the guy James, I don't know his name. Adriana might know his name if if she lives to make it. I don't know. But I was like, why come we just can't get along? And what went wrong? Because me and Adriana used to be tight. Mm-hmm. Used to be tight. Well, you know, it, it, I find it curious that you're hanging out with her and Heather tonight over we at the house that. and still messing around with Darren. We do that. We do that. And she never accused you of sleeping with her husband? We do that. Yeah. Okay. She came down there and put her hand all in my face, threatened me and everything. Okay. Yeah. We all do that. Y'all all sleep together? Um, no, we don't all sleep together. Heather just accused Adrian of sleeping with her husband over the weekend. But she not. At least I don't think she is. Where has your daughter been tonight? How's she hurt her hand? <laughs> I was down at um, Heather's house. I don't know. She just said they was in there doing something right here, I guess. Did you see it? Yeah, it was swollen. What did it look like? It was swollen up. Okay. Is Brittany having any problems with Adriana? Not that I know of. We were all in my house. Well, the rumor going around the neighborhood is that Brittany busted out Adriana's window what a couple window? days ago. The one busted out at her trailer. The one right there in the middle of the living room. In the living room. Well, yeah, that's Adrian, what the. Adriana, no, baby. Not that one. No, honey. Which window? No was window it? was broke out. Adriana's husband broke that window out. Adriana was at. Okay. How'd that go? Adriana was at my. No, Adriana and her husband was, was at my. No, me and Adriana's husband was at my house first. We were smoking crack. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then Adriana came over there, and. We were smoking crack, but he didn't want Adriana to have none. So I said that he had to go. 
okay? When he left, he cussed Adriana out. Adriana was at my house that night because he was talking about he was going to do some tour. So he said he was going to put her out. So I said, well, Adriana and the kids can come to my house. They can stay. They're not going to be homeless, okay? Mm -hmm. So she was over there for a long time. He kept coming, knocking on my door, knocking on my door. I said, you got to stop doing that. You know, I kept acting like I was calling the police, but Adriana knew I wasn't calling the police, okay? He kept coming over there, knocking on my door, knocking on my door. Then he was standing outside on their back porch, and he was yelling, Adriana, get your motherfucking ass over here. Adriana kept going out to the porch talking to him, kept going out to the porch talking to him. The last time he came over and knocked on my door, Adriana, I said, Adriana, you and the kids got to go, okay? Mm -hmm. She went to the house, and I guess they got to arguing and fighting in the living room. He broke that window out. That window's been broke for a long time, sir. Okay. What about it's another like window? Told, maybe I don't. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong window. What are you talking window. about, honey? Darren's telling me he heard Brittany broke out of the window this week. You didn't hear about that? No. Okay. And why she didn't tell the police that then? Don't know. I mean, you yourself don't tell the police much. Brittany didn't break out that window. Okay. Why? I mean, she was just at my house Adriana, today. Why she didn't tell me? Why is Adriana saying you and Heather did this to her? I don't know. That's serious business. I've been blamed for a lot. Well, it's 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 a circle, a cycle over there. It goes trailer one, trailer two, trailer three. Well, she three, didn't do it four. to herself. Somebody did it to her. Adriana been riding that bike all day today. Okay, but somebody did it to her. I didn't. Okay, I swear I. Didn't. But she's saying you did it. I didn't. Adriana been saying I didn't. I did it may a be lot the last stuff. thing she tells somebody. You know. Maybe the last word she said. We call that I a dying called, declaration. I called on Dre. I didn't call DCFS on her kids. And I'm not going to take the blame for this. I promise. Okay. I promise I'm not. How can we get a hold of your daughter, Brittany? Brittany should have been to the emergency room. Okay, she's not there. She, she got a cell phone? No, but her friend girl has a cell phone. What's her, her friend girl's in name? My house phone. You don't know? It's in my house What's phone. She, uh, you don't know your house number? Heather know it. Okay. I can get it from Heather. Mm-hmm. And you're absolutely sure this is the story you're sticking with? I promise. Okay. No problem. I don't want you to tell me anything other than the truth. Okay. Okay? I didn't do it. Okay. Still got a problem. <sighs> Somebody's going to tell us what happened tonight. If you know anything and you're withholding it, you want to be the first one on board. Okay? You see what I'm talking about? Because once we take this once we get everybody to you know, get every, all the information, yeah, there's not gonna be any second chances. Mm -hmm. And like I said, if, if if she if she doesn't make it Adriana been sleeping with a lot of girls, well, a lot of guys around that. there. I realize that. <laughs> what they could have did. But it. what you don't understand is the last statements that she said before she went out. <laughs> when I wear. <laughs> I'm sorry? When I wear. Went unconscious. <laughs> I didn't do it. I promised to go. <laughs> You better start coming up with some, you know, some facts. The only know. thing I know is today is the first day me and Adriana talked in a long time. And I'm thinking that the only reason that we did talk today because Heather wasn't around in the beginning. It seemed like she kind of get rocks in her jaws when Heather come around. <laughs> Just like I, I was telling, I don't think Adriana. I believe Adriana stabbed my tire. I can't prove it, but I believe somebody put her up to it. She ain't no hard person. But she only act like that when she get around one person. And that's the one who's been, been putting a wedge in between us. Adriana don't have no family here. How long? How long has Adriana lived over there? 
well. I think maybe, maybe four months, I think, I don't know. She don't have nobody here. Where's she from? Um, um, Memphis. Tennessee? I think. This boy that's in jail, what, what relation? Is that a boyfriend? No. What is he? Trying to make her, trying to make her house into a hot spot house. A what? He was trying to make her house into a hot spot house. He was, um, everything ain't trying to go through now. I warned her about. What's his name then? Um, Andre Smith. That's Andre's in jail? Dre. Dre? And he was, is, was he living there? Um, no. He was just, um, cooking up. Uh, making drug deal, stuff like that. Did he, is those kids, is he the father? Are any of those, how many kids is it, was in that, two? Two. Were those, were those his kids? Um, one of them is the guy who's in jail, and one of them's dad is dead. Okay, one, now, Andre, he's not the one, is he in jail? Yeah. Is he, and that's the one you call a DCF, or not DCF, but, uh. Work release. Work, yeah. What's he in jail for? I don't know what he had to do, but what's, I guess he What's the other, uh, kid, uh, the child's uh, dad in jail for? Trying to kill Adriana the next day after yeah. I let her go back home. Okay, he's over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, I heard there was a DV. So both of them's over there. This Andre Smith, Dre, and uh, what, what's her husband's name? M Michael Kelly, I think. Michael Kelly. Wait a minute. I think it's Kelly. I think Mike. Michael. Okay. What what we're fixing to do? We're gonna step out of here in just a minute. Give you time to get your thoughts together, and when we come back in here, we'll we'll, we'll go we'll go over this again. Okay. You got anything else right now? Mm -mm. Not right now. Yeah, well, let me let me go. You saying Heather knows how we can get a hold of your, your daughter, Brittany? Well, she knows my house phone. She asked for my house phone number, right? Right. Yeah. And she don't have any kind of communication, no phone, cell phone, or anything. One of the girls who she with got a phone. But it's on her home phone. Oh, it's on her your home, your home phone. I just got that phone number. through um, Publicate. Okay. Okay. We'll be back. We're going to do room phone. Sure. So you see at first, Tina was denying everything, but let's listen to her daughter. Now she was 16 at the time, so it was only audio, but I'm gonna keep it brief. This was Brittany, check it out. This is Investigator Robert Guy. We're here today on the 25th of March, 2010 at the Sheriff's Office here with Bridget Miller talking about a- uh, This Brittany. Or I'm sorry, Brittany Miller talking about a, uh, a possible battery that occurred on the 24th. Um, uh, Brittany, could you state your name, please, and spell your last name? Brittany Miller, M-I-L-L-E-R. Okay, and your birthday? 6293. And an address for you? 904 West Detroit, lot number three. Okay, and a good phone number where we can contact you? I, I don't know. You don't have a phone number, somebody we can call if we need to find you? Um, um, 850. I really don't know the house number or my cell phone number. We just got it. Um, you don't know it? You have anybody else's number where we can call you and try to contact you? No. No? Okay. All right, I'm going to um, give you this. 
sorry. All right, I'm going to read it, go over it and read it with you at the same time, okay? This is something that we have to do. So this protects you more than it does me, okay? This is so you know everything that you're right. Okay? You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand that? Okay. Anything you say can be used as evidence against you in court. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. You have the right to have a lawyer present while being questioned. Do you understand that? Yes. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, a lawyer will be appointed for you without cost before questioning. Do you understand that? Yes. If you wish to answer any questions now without a lawyer present, you still have the right to stop answering questions at any time. Do you understand that? Yes. That means you can start talking with me. And then if you, you know, if for some reason you want to stop, you've got that right. Okay. Do you understand all of them? Yes. Okay. What? See where it says signed right there? Did you sign that? And that ain't saying you've done anything. That's just saying that you understand these rights that I have just read to you. Okay. I have to sign with my left hand. Okay. What would you do to get out of hand? I broke my pinky. Yeah, just do the best you can. <clears throat> okay. Okay, and, and you do understand all that, correct? Mm -hmm. How old are you? Sixteen. Sixteen? Okay. Um, and you know why we're here today? Talking? Um, not really. What, why is it that you think you may be here? I know we talked to your mom last night. Did she tell you? Mm -hmm. What have you been told? That they think that we did something to our next door neighbor. To who? Adriana. Adriana? What is it that you think happened? Have that you been I told at all? Mm -hmm. Huh? That I don't know. Do you know her very well? Not like that, but yeah. How do y'all know each other? Just from being neighbors? Mm -hmm. Y'all hang around or any, each other or anything like that? We used to hang out real good. We used to be real close. And then we just stopped hanging out like that. Just stopped? Mm -hmm. Did y'all have any beefs or anything like that? No. We were, we were talking and, and laughing and all that yesterday, so... When was the last time you talked to her? Yesterday. Like, no. um... Uh, school, that's when I seen her, um, around 3, 4 o'clock, probably. Around 4 p.m.? Yes. <clears throat> Didn't you, did you talk to her then? Yes. What did y'all talk about, do you remember? Yeah, I asked her where was she going with the bike, she was riding a bike, and I just asked her where was she going with the bike, and she said she was just going to ride. She was on a bike? Yeah. How long? Short conversation? Yeah, it was, it was short. That was it. Anything else that was said or y'all just talked about that? Yep. Was anybody with you when that happened? My friend, Mallory. Who? Mallory. Mallory? Yeah. Do you know her last name? No. She had a school with you? Mm-mm. How do we find her? She's at my house. She lived with you? Huh? No. Where does Mallory live? She lives in Inslee. Behind Annie. Behind where? Oh, um, she lives in Inslee behind the hair store. Behind the hair store? Yes. You don't know what road? No. I think it's just on Inslee Road. On Inslee Street? Yeah. So she was with you when you spoke with her? Mm -hmm. Did she say anything to her? Mm-mm. And it was just about what she was doing on the bike? Mm-hmm. And again, what did she tell you after? She said that she was just going riding. That's it. And this was after school? Mm -hmm. Did you get off the bus or something? Yes, I got the bus and I was walking home and that's when I seen her when I was walking Ooh. home. Just casual conversation. What any, you see her anymore that day? Okay. Let's just go through that day the best we can. Yesterday, okay? You, you get off the bus from school. Does Mallory go to school with you? No. How'd you run into her? She came to my house. She walked to my house from her house. 
So you met her at your house? Mm hmm What school does she go to? She's homeschooled. She's homeschooled? So you met her at the house, and then y'all went walking? No, we didn't go anywhere. We just stayed at the house. Well, when did you see? I seen Adriana when I went outside to meet Mallory, like outside of my porch, when she came outside to my porch. I got Mallory. you. She was just riding a bike. Mm hmm And you said hi. Mm hmm Okay. After that, what did y'all do? Went in the house, and I started braiding my mom's hair. And then that's when my other friend came over and lived next door to me. And she started saying I was hurting her head and stuff, so we stopped. And then she left to go down to Heather House. And me and my other friends, we just stayed there. We just listened to music, danced, watched movies. Who was at the house with you dancing and watching movies? Mallory and Jessica. Mallory and Jessica? Is that it? Yep. Do you know Jessica's last name? Mm -hmm. You know where she lives? She lives next door. She's a neighbor? Yes. Okay. All right. Do you remember about what time that was? Um, it had to be around 5 at the time, 5. Around 5 p.m.? Yeah. Dancing and singing? Mm -hmm. Basically just having and a good time? Watching movies, yeah. That's all right. It. What happened from there? And that's it. That's all we did for us tonight. That's what we do every day just about. About what time did everybody leave? They stayed the night. Um, Mallory stayed the night, but Jessica, she went home. She went home about, um, I want to say 6 o'clock in the morning because we was at the hospital. Because your hand? Yeah. So Jessica went home about 6 a.m.? Yes. Did she have school? She's, I don't, I don't know what. What's going on with her with school? So, now, does she go to school with y'all, sir? No, she doesn't go. She doesn't go to the same school I go to. Do you know where she goes? She's supposed to be going to Tate, but she she's trying to get into George Stone, I guess. So maybe Tate. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so Jessica goes home around <clears throat> six. Yeah. Okay. What about Mallory? She stayed the night. Mallory stayed. Mm -hmm. When did you leave your house to go to the, how did you, did you hurt your hand last night? Mm -hmm. Tell tell me how that happened. Mallory, I was cleaning, we were in my room, cleaning up my room, and I asked Mallory to toss me my key, <clears throat> and when she went to toss it, I went like that to try to catch him, and that's when I hit like the corner of the door right there, and that's how I broke it. In your bedroom? Mm hmm About what time did that happen? Around 1 o'clock, 1, 1 1.30, and that's when we left to go to the emergency room. About 1 or 1.30? One mm-hmm. <clears throat> and I went, and I went to the house, and I told my mom I messed up my arm, and she told me to just go ahead and drive myself to the hospital. So you took yourself up there? Yes. Did anybody go with you? Jessica and Mallory, because they knew the way. I didn't know the way. So both of them went to the hospital with you? Mm-hmm. Okay. And you talked to your mom about hurting your hand before you left? Mm-hmm. I told her about, I went down, the, when I heard it, I went down to Heather House to where she was at, and I showed it to her. And I told her I heard it, and she said, just go ahead and go to the hospital. So, and that's when we left. So from about, so the, the only times I'm really missing is from about 6 to 1. Y'all dance and watch movies from 6 p.m. to 1? Until you hurt your hand? Yep. Did y'all ever go outside the house? Mm -mm. Nobody saw y'all outside your house? Nope. Did you ever walk down the road to any of the trailers? Nope. Did I Jessica? Huh? The only thing Jessica, if Jessica was to leave, she would only go back to her house and that was it. If she was to leave. And that was at six? Mm-hmm. That's the only time she left? Yep. And then Mallory was with you? Mm -hmm. So none of y'all went outside from about... Until you hurt your hand from about 5 p.m. till 1. Y'all were all inside your house. Yep. Was your mom there with you the whole time? No, she was at the first trailer at Heather's house. Your mom was at Heather's? Mm-hmm. What time did your mom wind up coming home? Um, I don't know, actually, because I was asleep once I came back from the hospital. I went to her room and I went to sleep. And that's when I got woken up by the police.
So when you were at, so while, so y'all were at the house by yourself basically, mm-hmm. just hanging out. Yep. You did you go next door to show mom your hand? Yeah, I went. That's how we was able to go to the hospital when I messed it up. I went down to the first trailer and I showed my mom, and that's what she was like. Just go ahead and drive yourself to the hospital. Yeah. Uh, how did Jessica get home? She just went home. She walked home from your house to Ainsley Street? No, Mallory. Mallory stayed the night. <laughs> Jessica stays next door. She just went home next door when we left, when we came back from the hospital. Because she was going to stay the night, but we didn't have any, like, any room for her to sleep. And, and, and uh, Brittany, I apologize if I missed. Where do you go to school? I go to Pine Forest High School. You go to Pine Forest. Uh, <clears throat> We have information that that you and uh, uh, Andrea, y'all, Andrea. Yeah, that y'all argued a lot, mm-hmm. and y'all fought. Uh, mm-hmm. Your mom had to break you up one time. Is this true? Yeah. What was y'all fighting about? I have the slightest idea. <laughs> if you really want to know the truth, somebody else was there to fight her. We were outside to watch it. She gets mad and she tries to tase me. Okay, uh, and it's important that you really concentrate on what you're telling us because mm-hmm. it is on tape. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, because your times are, are, are not adding up. Okay. Uh, because you weren't there at your house between 6 and 1. We know that for a fact. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. You want to tell us where you were? I was at the house. Okay. We were there and you weren't there. Well, that's where I've been at besides at the hospital. Uh, was you driving your mother's car and it was there too? And what was where? At the house. At your house. It was with me when I was at the hospital. At the house. So, I yeah. mean, between 6 and 1 or whenever oh, you yes. It mm-hmm. was there. Okay. Now, it wasn't there either when we were there. It should have been because I was there. We have Heather saying that that the taser belonged to you. Mm-hmm. She's seen it at your house. Okay. Is, is this no. is this a truth or a lie? It's a lie. Mm-hmm. Only time I've seen the taser was when Adriana tried to tase me that night, Mom. Well, that day, Mom had to separate us. And how long ago was that? <sighs> Um, two weeks ago. Something like that. Is that when you almost had to fight on the porch? Yeah. And we have, uh, we have other people in the neighborhood saying that y'all fought all the time or argued all the time. Oh, no. Because we, re- we really didn't speak anymore after that. So. Oh, I thought y'all were good friends. We were good friends at the beginning when she first moved there. We were good friends. And then we just stopped hanging out like that. And then after she tried to tase me, we wasn't really, I wasn't really going over our house every day like I used to. And we just wasn't really close like that. But we still talked. But at the beginning, we were close friends, but not no more. Did y'all ever have a fist fight? No. Never did? Come close a couple of times? Yes. Well, once, that one time. Okay. Let's get back to where you were between 6 and 1. Because okay. you weren't home. Well, and here's why it's Im- here's Brittany. Here's why it's important. I mean, we were out there all night. Mm-hmm. So I mean, this ain't something we we need to even ask anybody else. Mm-hmm. And if you, it's important you tell us the truth about that or something that minor. If you want to fib about that, you understand what we're saying? Mm-hmm. But that's why I've been at the hospital. Well, we know you went to West Florida Hospital, mm-hmm. but you didn't stay. Yeah, because they were taking too long. And, and so what time were you there? Oh, I can't <clears> tell you that. that so so you had to go someplace. In I've only, I only went to West Florida. That was after 1 o'clock Florida. after you talked with your mother? Mm-hmm. Okay, because your mother said you'd come talk to her like at 10 o'clock at night or, 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 or 8, 30, 9 o'clock. 
at night. That's when your mother said you come over to the trailer, to Heather's trailer. No. Uh, is your mother lying too? No. It was around that time. Around what time, Brittany? Around nine, in between nine and one. So I went and that's told a long. Mom. That's a long time. That's four hours. Well, all I know is that I went to both of the hospitals. I came down there and told my mom was my heart, my broke my arm, and that problem was broke. We went to West Florida. I had my friend Jessica sign do all the papers for me, cause I couldn't write. They were taking too long, so we went to the other one. That's where just and not getting home. you stayed there. You went immediately to the other one. Mhm. Mm we went right to the other one from the West Florida hospital. What other one? The one by the mall. I don't know what it's called. That's what I went to. Yeah. And then how long do you have to wait there? We were at Sacred Heart for a couple of hours. We were there for a couple of hours. Okay. And <clears throat> what time do you remember getting through there? I know we left 5 o'clock in the morning. You left at 5 o'clock in the morning? Yes. All right. So, so we're just trying to put this mm -hmm. timeline. You say you were at the, at the tribe until 1 o'clock? And then you went to West Florida? Mm-hmm. Is this true? Yes. And then from there you went to Sacred Heart? Mm -hmm. Okay. We know that's not true. Well, that's where I went, so... I mean, you weren't home. Then I was at the hospital. No, you were at the hospital at 1 o'clock, you just mm -hmm. said. Mm-hmm. At West Florida. Where would you be... Where was you before that? At home. You, you know what time we picked your mother up? Like at 10 o'clock, maybe 11 o'clock. Okay. So we were at your trailer. Your mother went inside and got the title to the car. Mm -hmm. You weren't there. The truck wasn't there. And then I must have already been gone to the hospital. Because that's the only reason how I was able to get to the hospital, because I had to go get Jessica. Because she knew the way. I don't know the way to the hospital. So you went behind the trailer and got Jessica and went? No, we already had Jessica with us because she usually comes over whenever she sees us there. And, and I was just Jessica like, can you take me to the hospital? Yeah. You said Jessica left, to, left her house at 6. Mm -hmm. And so you went back and got her? No. After, after we came back to the house at 6, I was already fixed up and everything. And then I, so I was like, do you want to stay tonight? She was like, I guess. I was like, well, someone's going to have to sleep on the floor because I don't have enough room. She was like, you know what, I'll just go home. And I went to sleep. And that's why we're just not waking up now. Did you have a fight with Andrea last night? Andrea last night? Did yeah. you have a fight with her? No. You didn't have a fight with her. We were talking yesterday. About the bike. I was like, where are you going with that with that big old bike on? Where where are you going? She was like, I'm just gonna go ride and I was like, oh, okay. But this was daylight. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah. It was like as soon as I was so I came home from my bus stop and I met Mallory and Mallory came outside. It was still bright and everything. Well Brittany, it's not adding up. Because you go to your mother up there at Heather's around 10 o'clock. And there you go to the hospital. We have times. Mm -hmm. And then you leave after 20 minutes. So before 11 o'clock, you were. When we gone. left West Florida, we stayed in the parking lot for a minute. And then that's when we left to go to the other one by the mall. All right. So, so you leave there at 11 o'clock and you stay there for 20 minutes so at 1130 basically you leave in West Florida Hospital and you're a Sacred Heart until 5 o'clock in the morning yep I don't think you, even your mother even <clears throat> even believes that well that's why I've been to those two hospitals so that's it, really. So it's two hospitals. I mean, and you understand it. That's that type of stuff's pretty easy yeah. for us to check into. Well, you can check into it because that's where I've been. Because you wasn't there until it hit your house. 
you were going. Mm-hmm. Dad was already gone to the hospital. You understand this girl might may die. You understand that? Now, yeah. And we have one of your mother's friends, Heather, mm-hmm. saying that you had the taser mm-hmm. at your house. Which is a lie. And you you told us that you were at home until one o'clock. And that was a lie. No. It was a lie. You went home till one o'clock. The vehicle wasn't there at one o'clock. Okay. Let me see your hand again, please. Turn it over that way too. Where where'd it get you at? Right here on my little bone. My bone right here. Are you right handed or are you left handed? I'm right handed. Let me see your other hand too, please. Better, better. You can hurt that hand though. Mm-hmm. Just this one. And your mother threw you the keys? No. Uh, who threw you the keys? Mallory. Mallory did. Brittany, how old are you again? 16. Sometimes, and, and you're going to learn this, and you're still kind of young, but you're getting older. We make mistakes. I make mistakes every day. Okay? There's stuff I, that I do that I wish that I could take back, but I can't. But the most important thing is that, you, that we come in here and we correct our mistakes and we... You know, you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Good people, if you've done something wrong or if, some, or if you know somebody else has, mm-hmm. may not be you. But if we've done something wrong, we come in here and we talk about it. And if you know anything, and let's get it and make it right. There's consequences now for, for mistakes that we make. Mm-hmm. I've done things in my life that's caused me grief. That I brought upon myself. Nobody else brought it upon me but me. Does that make any sense? Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean I'm a bad person because I did it. But I did do it. And because I did it, there was repercussions. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing is is that I understand that it was my fault. And and, and not somebody else brought that upon me. You you understand what I'm saying where I'm getting at? Mm -hmm. So if something happened, if you know something happened, if you were there, because the story you're telling us is not, it's not even close. So what I'm trying to tell you is, come in here and talk to us. Tell us what happened, what you saw, if something happened, and let's get it taken care of. Let's don't come in here making us have have to drag it out of you and do this and that because that's not what we want to do we want to come in here and resolve this and get it taken care of the best way we can we had somebody hurt badly that's a good friend of yours or has been in the past if something happened if y'all got into an argument or if she got into an argument with your friend whatever the case may be talk to us your mom's here she can listen to, and let's get this taken care of. But let's, you know, let's do the right thing. That's all I'm asking, just do the right thing. Come in here and talk to us. Be a grown adult. Tell us what you saw or what you didn't see. And let's get this thing taken care of the best way we can instead of dragging this thing out all day. Because how this works, how this is going to happen, and this is my sergeant, we're going to 
we're going to talk to you. We're going to get this story. And, and we've already got most of it, okay? Because we worked till 4 or 5 this morning. Everything you tell us, we're going we're gonna to go back and check to go along with the information that we already have. That's why we know that you're not telling us the truth now. So we can sit here all day and we can do this game or we can come in here and talk and we can do it the right way and get this done. And that's all I'm asking. You're a grown adult. You seem like a good person. Nobody's in here saying you're a bad person. But what we're saying is something bad happened to somebody that you know. And we feel like you know what happened. And now is your opportunity to tell us. And you can sit here and you shrug your shoulders and do all that. That's not going to work out too well for you, Brittany. I've been at the hospital, so I don't know what happened, if anything did happen. Yeah. So I'm trying to tell y'all. We're going to go That's back, it. you know, and we're going to check the times you got to Sacred Heart. Okay. You know, and because uh, we already know what time you're in West Florida. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, and why would she say, Andrea, why would she say that you was in on beating her up? Why would she say that? Why, why would she put your name in it? I really don't know, because we was talking that day. I mean, so I really don't give know. us something. I mean, did, 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 did she attack you and you had to fight her off or something? Or, I mean, why would she say that you, that, that you jumped on her? I mean... I mean, if you had a fight, you know, and, and we need to know about it, you know, and and and, and she's older than you, and I don't know if she, if she was getting the best of you or something, you know, just uh, tell us something. The only altercation we had was with the, the two weeks ago, and that was it. Okay, have you ever busted out her window uh, in her trailer? No. Do you know how the window got busted? Her husband was that one down. How long ago was this? Two, three months ago. Two, three months ago? Yeah, something like that. Were you home when it happened? Yes. Did you see him bust it out? Why would Heather say that you never came by the house, her house? I don't know, because there's no way I would be able to take mom's car without her permission anyways. So I wouldn't know why she would even say that. I wouldn't even try to take her car without her permission, without her knowing. So I don't know why she would say that. Have you got your own keys to the car? Yes. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes. So did you call your mom, or did you go over there to I the trailer? I went to the first trailer. Well, what happened when it when happened to the trailer? Let's... Went to the first trailer. She came out on the porch, and I was like, Mom, look, I hurt my hand. It's swelling up, and I think I broke it. And then she was like, okay, well, just, just go. Just go, go to the hospital. Just drive us up. And I was like, okay. And then you had your two girlfriends with you then? <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm sorry. And they had been with you the whole night. They what? And they had been with you the whole night. Mm -hmm. So you're telling the truth and, and Heather is telling a lie. Yes? Yep. Was there gas in the car? Yes. You didn't have to stop getting any gas? No. Did y'all stop getting a Coke or anything to drink before y'all got to the emergency room? Uh-uh. Nothing? Mm -hmm. I was in too much pain. I was trying to get to where I had to go. Why did you think it was going to take longer at West Florida than at Sacred Heart? Because you were only there 20 minutes. Because they were taking so long to call me in. 
and I was in a lot of pain. I wanted to get them to call me in right then and there. And then from West Florida, y'all were in the parking lot for how long? Um, we was in the parking lot for about an hour or two. But you're hurting. Yeah. And you need to be taken care of. Mm -hmm. You see where I'm getting at? Yeah, but that's, I mean, you can check the video camera showing when we left out of the hospital, how we just sat there in the, in the hospital. In the parking lot yeah. the hospital, inside the car. Yes. Rather than waiting in the hospital to get work fixed. Because you'd already been, uh, already been seen mm -hmm. by then, by the time y'all get through sitting in the car. That's where he was at. I mean, you can go get their video cameras and it'll show that's exactly where he was at. So y'all sit out there for about an hour in the parking lot doing nothing. What were y'all doing? Nothing. That's exactly what we were doing. Well, you were in Trying pain, to get in contact with my pain. mom. You were in too much pain to wait at West Florida yeah. for 20 minutes, but yet you're going to sit in the parking lot for two hours. Brittany, that don't make a lot of sense. That That's what we did, though. You can check the the videos because that's really what we did how were you trying to get in contact with your mom up on the cell phone but i didn't have any current numbers your cell phone no i don't have any minutes whose phone were you using mallory's mallory's what's her phone number i really don't know i'm sorry and you, what number were you calling give me the number you were calling to try to get her i was calling two eight one three four five six three four five six is that your mom's phone number or something? That's Heather's. Heather's? Well, it's, it doesn't work anymore, though. It's been disconnected, but that's the number that I thought was hers. That's but that's what you were trying to call? Mm -hmm. What were you going to try to tell her? I was trying to tell her that we're waiting too long at the other hospital, so we're going to go to the, the one up by the mall. But couldn't get in no contact with her. Well, Heather had her phone here, so Heather's got a phone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know she has a phone, I just don't know her current number. That's Darren's number. Usually if she could try to get a hold of me, she'll call Darren's <coughs> number, Heather's husband. But he doesn't have any minutes on his phone. <coughs> the phone she had last night had minutes on it. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. her phone. Okay, but we don't know her number. Yeah. All our numbers are in our phones. Call her IDs. So you wait there for hour and a half, two hours. Then you go straight to Sacred Heart from that parking lot. Mm -hmm. I asked Mallory, I was like, well, do you know where the other one is? And we were making sure we knew exactly where it was at before we go, because we didn't have a lot of gas. So we didn't want to get lost and then run out of gas or something. And that's when we, that's when we went to the other one by the mall. How'd y'all find, how'd y'all make sure y'all knew where it was? Because Mallory, she just knew where it was. Jessica's the one that took us to West Florida, and Mallory was the one that took us to So then Mallory Florida. said, hey, I can get you the second heart. Yeah. And that's when we were like, are you sure? Because we don't have a lot of gas to be trying to get lost. And that's when she was like, I do, I do. I was like, okay. And that's when we just left. And y'all never had to stop for gas? What about after, what about this morning when you were going home from the hospital from Sacred Heart? No, we didn't have to put no gas in it. Did you have to stop anywhere? Mm -mm. So from, did, did you eat anything? No, I haven't ate. So from about, from what I'm gathering, from about six last night to about six in the morning, you haven't had nothing to drink or eat? Nope. Mm. Come on, Brittany. Hi. I've been trying to lose weight, so I really don't eat a lot. I mean, it's the truth. I really don't eat like I used to. You know what the first thing I'm going to do if I'm having to sit at the emergency room because I know I'm going to be there for a while? Mm -hmm. And your mom's going to do the same thing? I'm going to go get me a bottle of water or a drink. Mm -hmm. I might not get no food, we but I'm going to have get... any money, so how was we been able to get buy anything wouldn't have any money? That may be true. Didn't have any money. You didn't have any problems being being treated by the doctor, uh, being a juvenile, without having your mother there. 
Do we have any problems? Yeah. Yeah. What kind of problems did you have? Um, they had to call my mom, get in contact with my mom, and get like um, tell her that they wanted to talk to my mom, and they said that they need her permission to treat me. Okay. And they talked to me walking up Fairfield Street. They called Jessica's Jessica's mom, and Jessica's mom talked to Heather's husband to get Heather's phone number. And they talked to us walking up Fairfield Street. She asked me my name, my date of birth, and was it okay to treat okay. Brittany. And this is roughly 4 o'clock in the morning? Mm-hmm. Whatever time it was, they let us out of here because we walked across the street to a juvenile because the the cops said that Brittany was here and that they were talking to her here. When they let us out, I was like, well, where's my baby at? And then they said that she wasn't here. So that's when we walked across the street to juvenile. Juvenile said that they she wasn't there. And as we were walking out, Jessica's mom called and said that they were at the hospital. Now we're going to stop it there. All this started over Heather, husband was on the screen now a lot of people don't know before heather broke and cooperated and still received 25 years to life she got in the car with her husband authorities allowed that to happen the man who was sleeping with tina too that same night now i want you guys to check this out inside the police car before we hear her interrogation I'll come back in about five minutes and see if you're ready to get out, okay? Right. I'll shut the door, okay? Uh, you know, I'm going to shut the door, okay? And that's what you did then? That's what they told me. She said, oh, we were going to go down there for questions or some shit. What? Go down there for questions. I told them before that, um, block the ground came by. I told her that I was just in her sleep. 448, copy code. I told her that we was up and pissed about the movement. Go ahead, 448. 13, And I was right there on the couch. Yeah. The blocking ground came by. Nisa and Charles see me. Uh, I told them y'all had one. I did the little Creole shit for the fish. You ran out of them fish. That was right across the street. No, I told them that one wasn't there. Two. 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 Somebody something about she got beat real bad. Can you take this I see you under around today riding that bike. She came over there where we were, we was over there talking. They asked me that I seen her. I told them that I ain't seen her in about two days. I seen her today. She came over there and was talking to her. I don't know. Now, how the hell am I going to get back? You were dead? To me, right there. Well, right That's that's what more I'm talking to. You can also add that to me. You see, this is it. I knew what I was going to do. I don't know. See, like I do something. I seen Audrey earlier. It was this morning. I seen her about two and three, and I ain't seen her no more. She was she was out there talking to us, and she was laughing with us and everything. And then she left out on the bike. She told me she had a date. Where where your phone at? Um, one of the visitors got. It. And you can, they can give it to you. I'll go with I ain't got no problem with it going with. 
when I seen Ari driving, it was early this morning. It was about two and about three. She was sitting there. What? Did she come out here for just a minute? Yeah, let she me run that video right real now. quick. She was standing there. Just a minute. Okay. She was standing right there talking to us. Like I told him, I seen Adriana earlier today. And when Chris came over here, I was in there cooking. Oh, you was in there laying down I when Chris came. I all about Chris. Uh, because they haven't been anybody else come, I told him no. I gave her. Yeah, Chris asked me for $20. She asked for $20. She asked me, then she turned around and asked you. And so did. And then she, she said, said, what that is, you cooking fish? I said, yeah, she walked back outside. I went out there, I was talking to kids and Chris and Chris at the car. I was standing down at my niece's house at the time. What Brittany at? I don't know where Brittany at. What Brittany at, man? Miller? Well, she at the hospital too, like a broken hand or some shit. And I see Adriana early. She was then out there talking to her. And then she was she was riding up and down Detroit on that bike. And I asked her, I said, why you keep going down there to follow? She said, girl, nothing. She quick started laughing. And then she came back and she went back again. She told me what she does. She said, I got a hot date tonight. And I asked, I said, where the kids at? They said, I asked her where the kids was. She told me that some somebody had it. Had them. What gas can? Gas can. The gas. Them gas cans been on the porch. I don't even know who gas cans are there. I don't know who gas cans are this. They gotta be Jerry gas cans. We ain't got no car. What we need with the gas cans? I ain't know what the hell was going on. They told me I I just seen her today. And now they say she in intense care. I seen her before it got dark. She asked for a band-aid today. All right, man. She asked me for all a right. band-aid today. I'm going to give you about a minute more. Say your things, and we we fix it and go. Um, I need to talk to you real quick. All right? I'll uh, give you about a minute more. Say goodbye. Hey, am I on a rest? You are not free to go at this time, so you can consider it whatever you want to consider it. You're not free to go right now. Okay. All right? Okay. Okay. I think I can hold you 48 hours or something. I don't know. You are... 48 hours? I think you're detained at this time. How about that? So we get a chance to talk to you. Okay? Oh. They say they don't want to talk to you. Oh. They say they don't want to talk to you. Shit. 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 Shit
she was at Nisa house earlier. When I came outside, she was out there by Nisa way. When I walked down that way. When she was standing there talking to us. Damn. And then they gonna put me out on the sidewalk and ain't gonna have to ride back. You get my phone and call Jean. Where's the phone at? One of the um, police officers got it. When he come back, tell, tell him he need that phone. Which one? I don't know which one got it. What do you know? Two three two five two seven eight. Yeah. Uh, my cell phone. Could he? I, I'll I'll have it, and we'll talk to you about it. Okay. Okay. Get down there. Come on. Okay. Sir. Yeah. Now you see Heather acting nonchalant, but watch what she get to the interrogation room. She then realized later that Adriana had survived at least for 16 days, which was enough to give authorities the information and paramedics on who did this to her, which made Heather confess and cooperate. <laughs> Go grab one across the hall. Sugar, you all right? You know, I'm worried about Andrea. Yeah, I'm too. I'm very worried about Andrea. That's my friend. Tell us what happened. I don't know. I don't know. I seen her earlier today. And Heather, she seemed like something. everything was all right when I seen her today. Heather, let's remember your rights. Tom. Hey, John, I mean, uh, Heather, you remember when I was talking to you in the car early at night, I, I advised you your rights, and you agreed, you understood each one of those rights, and you agreed to talk to me? Yes, sir. Uh, just to let you know, that still applies to for this interview, okay? Okay. You can, you know, you don't have to ask questions. You, you I won't answer okay. questions because I don't okay. know what happened. You're happened. also still under oath, okay? Okay. okay. Now, Heather? Yes, sir. Let me tell you a little bit what's going on, okay? We did get a chance to talk to Adriana before she went to the hospital. Yes, sir. She told us a few things. Yes, sir. She told us who did this to her. Yes, sir. She told us where, where they took her yes, and what they did to her. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Why do you think I'm talking to you? I don't know. Because she told us you did it. I would never do anything to her. She's my friend. We've been friends ever since she moved out there. Mm -hmm. I love her and her She tell you something we about... We became best friends, I feel. Gain your composure. Go ahead, gain your composure. We became good friends. Oh, my God, we became best friends. From what I'm hearing, y'all been arguing all the time. Everybody in that trailer park had arms, but we have now had a fight or anything. We became friends. She hung out with me every night, every night at my house. She hung out with me every night. Okay, she hung out with you tonight? She, I seen her earlier today when she was talking to me down by my aunt's house. And she told me she had a date. <laughs> You need a minute? Yes, sir. Okay. We need to talk. <laughs> Can I tissues on the next one right now? Right across that hall, there's some tissues. I need them. You need them? Concerned that she said you did this to her. I would never hurt her. I always have protected. 
that though. I wish he got it to a whippy okay. bit. That's real important. Oh, where's Potato? Go ahead. Oh, please pretend oh, I wish you got into it with people that travel far. <coughs> you wanna you wanna watch your face and blow your nose that I would never hurt her. I would never hurt her. I would never hurt her. You want some water? No, Go and wipe your nose in your face. <laughs> Take a deep breath. No, my friend, we were gay friends and said she moved in that trailer park. And I have been pretending. We got it. She said you did this to her. As long as we got it, she said you did this to her. That's my friend. I love her like a sister. You can say that. She's your friend, but she's also, your friend told us you did this to her. I would never. We need to go over what you did tonight, okay? Yes, sir. Can we just talked to your other friend. Yes, Tina sir. Brown. Is that your friend, too? Yes, all of the trailer park. And how about her daughter, Brittany? Brittany. Where were y'all tonight? I was at home when y'all came. When they came to the house, I was right there in the okay. same spot. I, I, on the couch I, I going absolutely to sleep. believe you were at home when we came over there. Where were you? Maybe half an hour, forty-five minutes before that. Day? I was at home. Okay. I was at home. My aunt came by my house. I was in the house cooking. You know what time your aunt came by? Movies. It was almost dark. It was almost dark. Okay, well, we came over to your house and started knocking on your door about 10 o'clock at night. Almost dark and 10 o'clock at night is a big difference. There's, there's about four hours missing in there, okay? A good three. A good three. Uh, the lady in trailer four, that's my aunt. She seen me, uh, Jerry, and... Uh, Heather, uh, a lot of me. more people see me, me at home. Listen to me. See me About dark <laughs> and 10 o'clock. There's a lot of hours in there. I okay? was right there on that couch. Okay. So that's where you're saying you were yeah. right on that couch. Graham and Block came to my house. They were laying okay. down watching TV with us. Okay. Anybody else come by your house? My aunt. My cousin Chris and my cousin Kizzy. Mm -hmm. Then little baby Junior came back. Graham came by, Block came by, and all Jerry, were, Jerry all, was at my house. Listen to me. And what time did they get by and what time did they leave? It was dark when Jerry came by there. He always come down there and asked me for cigarettes. What's I went Jerry's to, first and last name? His name is Jerry Johnson. That's my uncle. And my aunt name is Terry Smith. Uh -huh. We talked to them at the scene, I believe, yeah. didn't we? They stayed down the trailer floor. I think we got statements from them down at the end. And my <laughs> recollection was they didn't see her this evening. It was it was about two and three. Two I was seeing it. I, I don't care about two or three in the afternoon. Okay, I care about tonight. That's the only time I see Audrey. Okay. I haven't two, seen her since then. Two or three in the afternoon doesn't matter. What time did your aunt and Terry Smith come by? Terry was at home. Her son came down. I asked him to go over to the store to get me some fish fry. Okay, that's before you start cooking. That's before dark. Yeah. After dark, after you cooked, after dark, who comes by? Jerry was the only one came down. He came Jerry's, down for a cigarette. Jerry yes. Johnson. Yes, he came. And you down remember about what time that was? I'm not sure what time it was, but he came for a cigarette. And it was dark. He, yes, he asked me for a cigarette. I gave him a cigarette. Okay. I've been at the house all the time, and I've been trying to find out where she was at. Everybody's telling me they didn't know where she was at. Heather. Why would you be wondering where she's at? Because she always hang out with me every night. We yeah. always hang out every well, night. Well, the last and thing I feed she her told kids us, and everything. The last thing she told us was you came in there along with your friends, yeah. dragged her out of the house, beat her with a crowbar, tased her with a taser. I put down everything and, I love. I put down my children life. I put down and my burned her. Burned her? Yes. And that's the oh last thing she told God. us. Bird, huh? Yes. 
<laughs> See, I ain't know nothing about being burned. See, so tell me, I what went on tonight? I didn't see her tonight. I see her early and I did it myself. She tell you tonight that your husband's been sleeping with your friend? She didn't tell me none of this. What? <laughs> what? And I don't believe that anyway because I be up under my husband 24 7. Baby, both. Everywhere he go, I'm with him. Okay. Both Darren and Tina told us they slept together tonight, so you can probably take that right out of your head. <laughs> That, that that there is a confirmed fact. I can give you that bit of information. And my understanding is Adriana told you that tonight. Adriana was She didn't tell you that? Adriana always telling me stuff, but I don't okay. listen unless I can catch it on my own. Okay. <laughs> so Adriana, you didn't have any problems with her? No, she's your sir. friend? She's my friend. I haven't had any problems. What about the fight y'all had? That was so long ago. You said everybody in that trailer park. Everybody, that was so long ago when me and her mm -hmm. first had an argument, but we didn't fight. We didn't have no fist fight, no physical fight. We just argued and we were right back friends. Mm -hmm. Heather, the problem we got is she's saying that, that you and Tina did this to her. I swear to God, I put on my chair in life. I didn't have anything to do. Don't worry, this ain't going to be no mystery. <laughs> There's going to be evidence to it. Uh, it could be evidence or whatever. Mm -hmm. I ain't have nothing to do with nothing. That's okay. my friend. I'm telling you, that's my friend. I would never hurt her. When did she tell you she had a date? <laughs> she told me that earlier today when we seen her. Because yeah. she was standing there talking to me. Was the date supposed to come pick her up or she supposed to meet him somewhere? He was or? supposed to pick her up. Did you ever see him come I didn't her? never see no car. I was in a house I never seen a car. And you would you you would you would be able to see if somebody pulled up. Yeah, her. I can see lights coming in. I see lights coming in, but I never did get up because she always fussed about me being nosy, seeing who coming over her house. And I tell her, don't worry about who coming over my house. But other than that, she told me she had a day. She had a hot day. She worked for escort service. <laughs> what escort service she worked on? She never did tell me. She never told me. She never told me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> and she the only one, only friend of that trailer park I was the closest to. She was the only one I was the closest to. Besides for my aunt, but she was the only friend I was closest to. Now, Heather, you, you know, this is all, when he talked to you earlier and all that, you wasn't upset like this. Why are you upset now? I was crying because I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that she Did was in intensive care. The lady told me she was in intensive care and everything. There's, this video of you in that car talking to your husband, you ain't talking like this. He was asking me, did I see her today? I told him I seen her earlier today. Well, you know, we watched the video, too, and we saw how you answered this question. I, I don't care. I didn't have anything to do with this. Mm -hmm. I'm upset because this is my friend. We talked about this is my friend. You said that's going to die. Mm -hmm. This is my friend. You said you're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm all sick because you're telling me my friends are going to die. I would think I'd be worried about <laughs> your friends saying you did it. That's what I'd be worried about. I'm here protecting her. I'm here protecting her. I'm here talking to her mom. Not she getting into it with them. Who you got to protect her from? Because she been getting into it with Tina and everybody. Okay, so what's her and Tina got a beef over? Her and Tina said they get along fine. <laughs> Me and Audrey will be just like that. What's, what's wrong with <laughs> Tina's the one hanging out at your house tonight, right? Yes, all okay. of us is friends. Okay. And I thought all of us were going to do this. Adriana is probably one of her last words is saying you and Tina came over there, dragged her out of her house and did this to her. I swear I didn't do anything. Why is she telling us that? I don't know why she would think I would hurt her. Did you see Brittany tonight? 
I seen Brittany earlier. What time was that? That was when it was getting dark. I seen Brittany. She was going in the house. Whose house? Her mom's house. Did she ever come to your house? She didn't come down, no. I seen her when I was outside. <laughs> I just got all these scars on y'all. I had got a rent by five years ago. That's been a pretty bad one. Well, yeah. That's been a pretty bad one. You got some serious scars on it. I had these for about five years now. Yeah. You ready to talk to us now? Yes, I'm ready to talk. I am talking to y'all. I keep telling y'all the same thing over and over again. I need a lawyer or whatever, because I keep telling y'all the same thing over and over again. I'm not going to sit here and let y'all make me say something I did that I didn't do. That's my friend. I love her like she was my little sister. I took her in like she was my sister. I took them kids in. Heather, I feed her children every day. Heather. I take care of her children like they Heather. my nieces and nephews. Heather, it's up to you if you want to talk to us. I do you don't want, want to talk to I us. I do want to talk. Hey, do you want a lawyer? Want, you want to talk to us? It's I up to you. I do want to talk. I do you want to talk to us now without a lawyer, brother? I haven't did anything. I'm tired. Heather, can you answer I'm my tired. question? I'm so tired. Do you want to talk to us now without a lawyer, brother? <laughs> you know your rights, right? Yes, I know my rights. Do you want to talk to us now without a lawyer, brother? Yes, I know my rights. You do? Yes, okay. Here's what I want to know. You're not really answering the question. You want to talk to us without an attorney present, a lawyer? I don't know what I All you got to do is say yes or no. I don't understand. I understand. That's my friend. That's my friend. I love her. I love you, my little sister. <laughs> and the last time you saw her was this afternoon? Yes. What was, was she doing this afternoon? She was standing in Cheetah truck talking to us. And all of us was laughing and everything she had, like everything was all all right. I kept asking her was anything wrong because she was riding the bike in and out the trailer park. And I kept asking her, Adriana, is anything wrong? She kept saying, I got to think. That's all she kept saying. I got to think. And she was trying to get home to her mom. Where's her mom at? Her mom is in Mississippi. I talked to her mom last night. You have a phone? Now? Yes, it's in my cell phone. It's in my cell phone. What's her mom's name? I don't know her name. She never told me her mom's name. I never met her mom before. But she wanted me to go out of town with her to be her mom. And I promised her I was going to go with her. I promised her I was going to go with her to see her mom. You talked to her mom last night? I talked to her mom before, yes. Last night? I think that was last night when she called her. Her mom never said my phone. You know for a fact she lives in Mississippi? Yes, that's what Adriana told me. She stayed in Mississippi. I was help I was trying to help her get somebody to get home to her mom. But she didn't have anybody here in Pensacola. What did uh what did you and her mom talk about? About how, how she be getting to it with people. And how they be trying to jump her. She was told her mom she wanted to come home. And, I, and she asked me, would I give her the money to get home? I told her I'd do what I could to help her get the money. Did you ask your question about Brittany? <laughs> was Brittany by there today or no? She was there earlier early this evening. <laughs> but she, she wasn't at her house. Oh, so she never came by your house? No, Brittany was at her mom's house. And that's lot three? Yes. <laughs> Did, did you? Did Brittany seem like she was in any kind of stress or anything? No, she looked like she was all right. She came home from school. She came up to the Jeep. She spoke and she went in the house, took a shower. I went in there and said something to her. 
And she told me she was going to take a shower. I went back outside. She seen injured? Her mom's talking about she went to the hospital. And she didn't see like anything was wrong with her. When did her mom talk to her and she was injured and have to go to the hospital? I don't know when her mom talked to her, but she it wasn't anything wrong with her when she got out of school. Okay. When she got out of school, it wasn't nothing wrong. School's early in the afternoon. You didn't yeah, see her at night time at all? No, I didn't see her nothing tonight. Okay. Did Brittany, does Brittany have any problems Brittany? with uh, Ariana? Huh, Adriana had got Adriana? into it, and Adriana tried to tase her. That's all that Brittany uh, had told me. Adriana, they had got into it, and Adriana tried to tase her. How long ago was this? I think that was like two, two, three weeks ago. They had got into it. What kind of taser she got? Who has a taser? Uh, Brittany had a taser. Brittany had a taser. Did the, the taser belong to Brittany? I'm not sure. What did what, what that taser look like? Uh, I seen it once before. It was big. It was long. It was a long taser. Mm -hmm. It was made... What color? Uh, black. Okay. It was black. Mm -hmm. It was probably about that long. It had, like, little things on the side of it. I never seen the taser before. That was the first time I ever seen it when I seen okay. it. How do you know it was Brittany's? Brittany had it, so I don't know who... Brittany it. went after your friend? Yeah, they had got into it what they, before, what and I got in the way to keep what was that? What was that jumping on them. fight about, whatever? It said something about Tina supposed to be in a set up Andre, the boy that she was going with. Okay. That's what that was about. But yeah, that's the what boy who that was up. going with. I did what? You're the one that set that up. I set what up? You're the one that told the guy at work release, according to your friend oh, Tina. Oh, no. Oh, no. Tina told us no. she had you, you go called, tell the person you at work You called release. over to the work release, and the man said exactly who called over there. Okay. She, she said saying, she had you do it. He was said, Tina Bryan, and, and you put her voice and my voice together, it, we don't sound nothing alike. Okay. Didn't Tina just tell us that she had Heather do it? She didn't have me do nothing. Okay. Okay. Tina having and Tina having been at my house all night. Tonight she hasn't. She yet. haven't been there all night. Tina hasn't been at your house. And she haven't been at my house all night. Where was she at? Uh, she came in. She came and knocked on the door, and I got up. She said the police was out there. Okay. And I just laid there. Did she? Well, yeah. Did she come? I was in? on the couch. I Did just she? laid there because I was asleep. Did she ever come in the house after she told you the police was there? She came in the house, and she sat down. In your house? Yeah, she sat on my couch. And what, what did and she And I asked her what was going on, and she told me she didn't know. I'm confused here, because Darren told me that y'all, you and Tina, were there and cooking all night. Tina was there when I was cooking earlier. Okay. But she wasn't out there all night. Where'd she go? She had left. She told me she was going home. Okay. And about what time was that? It was what time I was cooking. It was getting dark when I was cooking, and I stopped cooking about 6 or 7. So she, Tina left around 6 or 7? Yeah, she left. Okay. And when did she come back over to your house? She came back probably like 30 minutes to an hour later. So she was gone for 30 minutes to an hour? Yeah. And she, she comes back and the cops show up right at the same she, time? She came in and she said the cops outside. Did you see the cops outside that time? I looked. I got up and I looked and I seen the lights. You can see the spotlights. I see the spotlights. And where are they at? They was outside. Are they outside? They of was out Indiana by. They was outside of Tina's house. They were outside of Tina's yes, house. Yes. They was outside of Tina's house. Were they outside of Adriana's house at all, or no? When I had came out, they was outside of Adriana's house. Okay, that's when, when they knocked on the door when and you I came. the door. Yeah, when I. And you didn't the answer the door for like an hour. I didn't. They didn't knock on my door. Oh yeah, they beat on that door. Not on lot one they did because I was laying right there on the couch and I didn't hear no locks. And they tell us they'd be on that. Even your husband said they'd be on the door and you weren't going to answer the door. And I then, got up. And then Tina said they'd I be got on up. the door and y'all didn't answer I the door. I got up and Tina said, hold on, don't answer the door. And I asked her why. Okay. We're getting a big diversity in this story. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you like it is. Adriana is my friend. I would never hurt her. Tina came to my house, and she told me not to answer my door. I asked her why. She said, because the cops is out there. Okay. And she ran straight to my house. Tina have never ran to my house when the cops came in that trailer park. Okay. She ran straight to my house. I was laying right there on the couch. 
when and she, she bailed on that dog. She was gone for 30 minutes to an hour. She was gone for about 30 minutes to an hour. She told me she was going home and she'll be back. And she never came back right then, so I laid on down. Okay. And I been laying on that couch right there with my husband for the longest. But your husband... Tram and Blocker came in. I'm not going to let y'all switch none of my answers around mm -hmm. or anything. Cause we I don't know want these, to. I know these little jokes and everything. Mm -hmm. I ain't got to lie. I put all this on my children's life. Okay. I would never put anything on my child's life. Okay. I'm tired of all this stuff going on. Every time I look like, uh, it's either my cousins getting shot or something going on to to one of my friends. I lost two friends in a drive-by shooting in 2001, and now I'm about to lose another friend. Who, who's your cousin got shot? My cousin, Antonio D., he got shot, and I was sitting on the porch when they shot the house up. I almost got shot in my face. <laughs> I, I just been trying to stay out of trouble, out of stuff. That's why I moved around that way in the back of Lincoln Park. Because so much was going on. Heather, I didn't talk to you earlier, but I know that's Gary Watts. It. Is this the same story she gave you earlier? No, I don't know. I didn't say anything about any shooting or anything. Went no, on. but I'm talking about... You didn't tell us that Tina wasn't there for an hour. He, he didn't ask me was she there for an hour. And no. I, I asked you to tell me who all was at your house. Graham, Blocker, Tina was there while I was you cooking. Didn't she you left. Didn't mention Tina's name. I did mention Tina. Uh, we when we was at that truck, I mentioned Tina. Okay. Well. Cool. But Tina disappears for about an hour, and she comes over. And she says the cops are outside. And you look and see the cops outside. Yeah, so we know I, about when that took place. That was about yeah. 10 o'clock when the cops came yeah. by out there. Okay. She, and then she asked me, she said, where are the cops at? I said, they down there by your house. Why you keep asking me where the cops at? Mm -hmm. And she went and never said. She started was she acting back, nervous? She started back. She was acting nervous. She started back puffing on the cigarette. Did she look like she was been running or did she look like she'd been... In a fight? She, she was acting normal. Let me ask you a question. She was acting normal. You said you, when we asked and you. And I asked, I said, I said, I said, Tina, I said, you seen Adriana tonight? She said, no, I haven't seen that bitch tonight. She ever fought her? Her and Adriana had words a couple of days ago. Okay. Go ahead, Tom. Okay, Tom. you remember, what, or just a few months ago, I, when I asked you about Adriana and her date. Yeah. You said he was supposed to come pick her up, is what she told yes. you. Yes. And then you said you were sitting at your house and you saw a set you of headlights see, come down. You the could driveway. see headlights coming but in. You didn't, but you didn't pay no attention to it. No. So I don't know if now, he picked her up oh, or what. Okay. But Tina, I see Tina, head, let's get yes. back to Tina. Okay. Was she at your house at that time? When the headlights yeah. came in? No, she was not at my house. Okay. She was not then, in my house. Did I'm you ever see? No, nah, we're not asking you to lie, but what did, did did you see those headlights leave? I seen them came in, they went down, and then the headlights came back up. Came back. How long did they stay down there? They had went down and was down for like 10 minutes, and then they came back up. So you didn't? You didn't. I, 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 I could lay right there on my couch by the door, mm -hmm. and I could see headlights coming in. Did you tell what kind of car it went to? No, I didn't. I didn't never look at the so one. So you didn't I just get up and the see where the car went. I didn't never get okay. up to see where it went, but I could see the headlights coming in, in through my front window, and I could see the headlights coming back out through my window on the side where Adriana the trail is. <clears throat> okay. What kind of car does Brittany have? Brittany don't have a car. Okay. Was she riding around in a car tonight? Did you see her car? Was she riding with her friends? Uh, I didn't see her tonight. Okay. That was earlier when I seen her. Okay. But well, she never came to your house this evening. No. And talking to her mama about her. No. Being she, hurt anything or anything. She never came to my house. Did she drive? Usually drive a car. She usually drive her mama car. What kind of car is that? A, it's a. Uh, it's a Jeep. It's a burgundy Jeep. A burgundy color car. Yes. It's a Jeep. Yeah. It's like a. Like a Ma, what, what was it? A Mazda Trio. It's 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 a Jeep. It's a short Jeep. Okay, by Jeep, like a Wrangler. No, not a Wrangler. It's like a Cherokee. No, not a trip. It's like a a Mazda. 
So, like, a, so it's not even about a Jeep. It's just, it's like an SUV? Yeah, like an SUV. Okay. It's by Mazda? Yeah, I think it said Mazda on it. Mazda make them? No, Rav for it. That's Toyota. I thought, I think it said Mazda on them, but it's like an SUV. But you know it's maroon. Yes. The headlights you saw, could it have been those headlights? I don't know. So many cars come down through there and then go straight down to the end and come back up. How long after the, the you see the car leaving the leaving the park? How long after that did uh, Tina show up at your house? Tina showed up at my house probably like two three minutes after the car left back out. So this is well after you was cooking, and so yeah. it was on into it. Just you said she had left, and I she, gave her some food. She you had, said she come over when you was cooking. Yeah, she came over. Just while stayed I was there cooking. for a few minutes, but. But she was prop that she probably left, and then it was later on the night. It's not necessarily you're not pinpointing the exact time at this. You know she came over. She came. Could have been ten or fifteen minutes, or it could have been longer. She came over, and she left. So you don't know exactly how long it was before. I, I before don't know she came exactly how long. I don't know exactly how long. And she didn't. She didn't tell you why. Why she, she didn't want you to answer the door? She didn't say anything about why she not to answer the door. But she did tell you not to answer the door. Yeah. And I told her, I said, I, I said, I don't have anything to hide. I'm going to open my door. And then I got up and I said, who is it? And they said, the sheriff's department. And I opened the door. What was Darren doing? He was laying at the bottom of the couch watching TV. <clears throat> You're absolutely sure of this. Yes, sir. I am sure. Because this story is a lot different than Tina's story. And it's even different than your husband's story. I am sure. Did your husband leave at all any time tonight? No. He been at the house all day and all night. So see, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little confused. I walked out. I walked down by Tina now. Brittany came, got out of school about 2.45, 3 o'clock. She came in she, walking. She went straight in the house. She came by the Jeep. She said, hey, Heather. I said, hey. And she went in the house. Where did she go to school at? She go to, I think, Pound Forest. Pound Forest or Georgetown. Then again, it might be that, what is it? At West Florida? Yeah, that West Florida school. So Tina was not at your house when the car pulled in, the, uh, the car lights you seen coming. She wasn't at your house then. No, she wasn't. But when it, whenever the car was leaving, she all of a sudden shows up at your she house. She came back to my house. I, when the car lights were leaving, back out. And you're came. sure it was that time? Yes, it was dark when the car came. Well, let me ask you this. And I might have already asked you, I'm tired. When she came to your house and told you the police was out there. Yes. Yeah. How 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 much longer after that car left did she did she tell you that? I mean, what you mean? I mean, how long has the car been gone? You said two oh, minutes. The car had been couple, gone. Couple the car had couple. been gone a while before the cars pulled up out there. Cause I was laying on the couch. I seen the headlights when it was leaving back out. As right. I said, when I'm laying on my couch. Right. You saw the car window, going out. You, you can see the headlights okay. coming back when up. When the car left. How long did she, did it take her to get to your house and tell you the police was over? She got there like two, three minutes after after the car left out. So you saying the car's been gone? Why is the that? What you're talking about? Two it, or three before minutes the cops, Before the cops got there, the oh. car was already gone. Okay, but that was, and I don't know, I don't know what time we got there, but. So I wonder if that was uh, somebody dropping her off. That car had left uh. her out. Okay. I was laying on my couch. I could see the car as it's coming back up. You, I could see the car as it's going in. I need to talk to Tina again real quick. Do you think, who do you think did this? I really don't know. I, I really can't say it. I don't want to say no name and then well, I'd be down, deep picking down, at the wrong deep, person. Deep down. Deep down. Deep, deep down. And this is just between us, you know. Who, who would want to do something to this girl? 
I don't. Who I, would want to hurt? I your really, friend? I really don't know. You think you think? I've been talking to Adriana every day. I tell her if she need me, she know how to run to my house. She had to run to my house once before when they was running behind her. She would have had to drag her little boy to get away. Who was they? Tina and all of them was chasing her. How long ago was that? It, it was. It was some weeks now. I heard somebody screaming outside. I looked out my window. All I seen was the little boy, because I could see the little boy running behind her. She was pulling me, too. She was running. I opened my door, and I let her ran in. I slammed my door to keep her from getting in the tool. It was Tina and her? It was Tina and her daughter. Is that, is that, that's not the day that her daughter tried to st stick her with that taser, is it? No. When did the daughter try to... It, it was, it's been a while now, and Andre was out there. Have you ever seen Brittany with that taser before this? No, this, today was the first time I seen him with You yeah. saw Tina today? Today or today? Today was the first time today I seen Today you saw Tina, uh, Brittany? I seen Brittany with it on the counter earlier. Today? Earlier today, it was laying on a counter in at her, the house. And, and in Tina's house. house. And I seen that taser, and I asked her, I said, what is that taser for? And they told me to stay out of grown folks' business. Mm -hmm. Was, was Pam, uh, Tina there? Tina was outside. She didn't hear us say that? No. When you asked her about that? Tina was outside. Tina always telling me to stay out of grown folks' business. You think Tina could could have done this? Seriously? I don't, I don't know if she could have. Because she had so much hatred towards her. Does Brittany have a friend named Heather? Have a friend named Heather? Yeah. Not that I know her. Okay. Not that I know her. Not that I know her. She had so much hate. They had hatred towards her. I had to protect her so many times. Tina hate, they had a lot of hatred towards her. They had a lot of hatred towards her. Why? Why? why, why? I had, like I said, I had to. I had to stop them from getting to why her, was her she, son. Why does she hate her so much? I don't, I don't know. Adriana told me that Tina slept with her husband. And then the landlord talking about kicking her out. Why would, why would Brittany have some problems with her? Because if her mom get into it with somebody, she got a problem with whoever her mom get into it with. You suppose it's been to their house a lot? T to Tina? Mm -hmm. Yes. I dreadfully had to call the police on them. Because they were trying to jump on them. I had to call the police on them. I called the landlord. She told me to call the police. I called the police. What did you have to call that? Because Tina and some of her friends wanted to jump on me. On you? Because I was protecting Tina and whose friend? Tina and some of her friends. What are her friends' names? Um, Pam. Okay. Pam and Rita. Okay. Rita and Pam. 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 Okay. I called the cops and they told them if they come down to my house again and I call them back, they was going to jail. We need to talk to Tina. Okay. You need anything to drink? Yeah. Bathroom? Yes, sir. In the restroom. We'll have somebody come down. Take okay. Care of Fam, I'm happy I'm able to wrap this video up less than two hours. Before we get out of here, we do want to say once again, rest in peace to Adriana. Love and prayers to her. And of course, most importantly, her two kids that she left behind. Fam, I want to know you guys' thoughts on this. The two women who were sleeping with the same man is arrested while he free. And the person who relayed the message had lost her life in the process. Let me know how you guys feel about this one in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until then, I'll catch you guys on the next one.